In an offseason chock full of change, Marcus Colston remains one of the Saints' constants. But after all of these years, he never takes anything for granted. You're entering your ninth season with the New Orleans Saints. Uh, seeing your teammates come and go, I know you always appreciate where you are, but nine years with one team, uh, that's pretty rare in this league. I mean, it's, it's been an awesome ride, and um, you know, hopefully I have a couple more left in the tank. So it's really just taking it, taking it year by year and really cherishing each year because, like I said, you never know when it's going to be your last. Colston has been amazingly good and just as amazingly durable, where despite undergoing knee surgery and a lingering foot injury last season, has only missed four regular season games in the past five years. But the soon-to-be 31-year-old wideout knows getting older means getting smarter when it comes to his preparation. Is there anything different in your routine in the offseason compared to maybe even four or five years ago? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely different. Um, you know, I can't work out and, and get after it the way I did when I was 22. I mean, I wish I could, but, um, you know, it's, it's probably going to take pushing my offseason back a little further and, and, you know, just make sure I hit the ground running in July. Making sure he hits the ground running, Colston's coach already has a prescription for training camp. I think the key is just monitoring his snaps during training camp. The things that you got to start doing with a player like him uh, during the during the season with regards to practice time. Um, but I know he's someone inside. He's very strong, strong-handed, um, very disciplined with his routes. He, he knows all the positions. And anytime you get uh, comments like that from from Sean, I mean, he's a great football mind, and you know he really knows his stuff. So it means a lot. Um, you know, really, I'm just, I'm at an age where I just got to monitor what I'm doing on a daily basis. And, I mean, it's, it's not saying that, that I'm banged up, but it's just saying that, you know, I, at, at this point, I can take mental reps and, um, you know, physically it's going to be there on Sundays. So Marcus is eager for more first downs and touchdowns, but will do his damage without some familiar faces. Most notably, a guy who's been in the same huddle with him, since he's been a saint. We had a joke that, that I was the old man in the room uh, before, but that's, you know, I'm, I'm going to grow a couple more gray hairs at this point. So, um, I mean, it's just uh, it's going to be going to be great, you know, to get some of those young guys, uh, Kenny Stills and, and Nick Toon, and watch those guys uh, develop and, and turn into to great NFL receivers. Yeah, Colston has witnessed plenty of turnover on the Saints' offensive depth chart, but remains optimistic. How is this offense going to be different, or will it be that much different? I'm, I'm sure it's, it's going to be different, but, um, you know, got all the confidence in the world in, in Sean and, and Mickey and what they're doing personnel-wise. An integral part of that personnel is Marcus Colston, who's getting older but isn't ready to act his age. In Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Mike Neighbors for CST Tonight.